Hey guys, welcome to this video and it's time to tell you about some tips and tricks of Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2. And so I'll just get right to it. Now the first thing that I want to show you is notification shortcuts. So we have multiple pages of notification shortcuts now and you can also long press on them and then move them, move them across pages and even remove them if you want. You can then go here and then add more if you want. Moving on to the next feature, we have ongoing icons. So what are ongoing icons? So if something is running on the background on your watch, it shows up on the watch face. So for example, I turn on the good night mode and then I go back, we will see this good night mode icon down here. Or if I turn this off and uh, start any uh, fitness activity or health related activity. So if I go here and I start some activity any workout so let's say we start this one and then you go back you will see this activity icon down here so that's called uh, ongoing icons now you can control these ongoing icons by going uh, in settings and then go in watch faces all the way down and you will see ongoing icons now here you can turn them off or you can position them so you can position them to the right or to the left or in the middle whatever you want next up you can also turn on and off hourly chime on your watch so what's that so whenever a new hour starts your watch will vibrate or um, play a sound to tell you that a new hour has started and it just to gives you a context of time during your busy schedule or day or whatever so for that again you need to go in watch faces go all the way down and here you will see hourly chime so go in here you can turn this on what it will do hear a sound or feel a vibration at the start of each hour so you can turn this one on and off as well now moving on to the next feature you can also control your camera interface with your watch so there is an app that you first have to download so if you go in the galaxy app store on your phone and download this app called camera controller by samsung electronics it will show up on um, your watch here so that's the app and once you tap it it will launch camera on your phone and then you can see the interface here on the watch so whatever you um, show on the watch will show up and then you can even take a photo you can also turn on the timer here as well so there you go you can turn on the timer it's a bit slow but you can control your camera interface now moving to the next one you can also set a specific feature to the home button so for that you need to go in settings go all the way down in advanced features and here you will see double press home key so you can set any of these features when you double press the home key i have recent apps so if i double press the home key it will take me to my recent apps so this is a good way of going back to any app that you've just used but you can also set it to launch last app large watch create a reminder or nothing and then all of these features it's a long list you can also set it to um, launch camera controller that i've just shown you contacts email find my phone galaxy store gallery so there are tons of options here that you can set as a shortcut Next up we have water lock mode. Now this watch is water resistant. It has IP68 rating. It's resistant uh, to water up to 50 meters in depth of water. But you can also uh, turn on the water lock mode. So what's that? Uh, so if you um, go in settings and go in advanced, here you will see water lock mode. So you can turn this on. And what it will do is that it will uh, prevent any unintended interactions, water lock mode blocks, touch screen and wake up gesture uh, once it's on. And if the speaker gets uh, logged with water, what you can do is you can simply use this eject water. So it will play a sound to clear the speaker of any water that's logged in there. So you can tap on here. So it will play this sound and then you can stop it. So let me show you what happens when you turn on the water lock mode. So you will see this icon appearing on your watch to tell you that your watch is in water lock mode and then no touches will work unless you uh, long press the home key and then 
it will play this sound to clear your speaker of any log water and you are done now moving to the next one you can also increase the touch sensitivity of the display here so for example if you are wearing the watch in winters and you have gloves on you can turn on this feature and then use the watch with gloves so you can turn on this feature by going in settings go all the way down in advanced and here you will see this feature touch sensitivity turn this on and it will tell you what it basically does you'll be able to use your watch while wearing gloves so that's also pretty handy next up let's talk about security on your watch so you can set a pin or a pattern password on your watch uh, so whenever you take it off your wrist your watch will be locked so again a very nice and handy feature to secure your watch so for that we need to go in security and here go in lock and here you can select the lock type whether it's pattern or pin so let's use pin for now and put in a simple password so now we have the password on and then you can select what you want to use this for so you can use it for screen and payments so if you use samsung pay you can use this uh, to secure your payments or just payments so that's the uh, screen lock so if i for example so the moment i have taken my finger uh, from behind the watch it detected that the watch is off the wrist and then the watch has been locked and now i can't use the watch i have to put in a password now the next feature that i want to talk about is called battery optimizer so if you go in here and go in the battery options here you will now see a power saving mode watch only mode and then optimize battery so go in here and now what it does is that it extends battery life by closing background apps and applying the settings below so it will apply all of these settings so brightness will be set to 5 screen timeout 10 seconds nfc off wi-fi off touch wake up off and if you don't agree with these settings you can customize them to your liking so you can go in here and turn this feature on and off and once you're happy with that just press optimize and your watch will be optimized for the best battery life you can also access this feature by going in settings and going in battery and here you go optimize battery and now let's talk about the last feature that i want to share with you and so let's say we are in uh, watch faces and we have a lot of watch faces installed now it will take a long time to go through the list but what you can do is you can while you're swiping you can just swipe quickly and then if you go a little faster again it condenses them even further there you go now you can see one two three four five six seven watch faces at a time so that's also a very handy feature to go through a long list of watch faces if you have a lot of them installed on your watch so that's about it from this video guys those were the 10 tips and tricks uh, that you can use on your samsung galaxy watch active 2 to get the best out of it and if you have any questions let me know in the comments and i'll see you in the next one till then take care Bye bye